Glorify the King of all kings. Glorify his name forever. Give him praise for the testimonies. Don't take testimonies for granted. While you thank him, he will do your own. Tell God thank you and thank you and thank you. Blessed be God forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. We are going to thank him also for making you see the first Sunday in the month of December, the last month of the year, 2023, that you are alive. Tell God thank you because life is a gift. And when something is given to you, what do you say? Thank you. Lift up your voice and thank God as a person. Lord, I thank you for the gift of life. That you gave life to me, I'm grateful to you. Say that. For the gift of life, I say thank you, mighty God. From the depth of my heart, I say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the gift of life. Are you thanking God who gave you life in the name of Jesus? Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. God's word also declares that the end of a matter is better than the beginning thereof. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8, and Psalm 65, verse 11, it says, Shall crown thy year with his goodness, and thy part shall drop fatness. Lord, crown my year with your goodness, and I must end this year well. My part must drop with also with fatness. Go ahead and prophesy over your life. Crown my year with your goodness. Let my part drop with fatness. I will end this year well in the name of Jesus. I will end this year well in the name of Jesus. My part shall drop with fatness. Open your mouth. It's what you say. God will confirm. What you have not declared, God has only to confirm in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' most wonderful name. Because you have said it, it is done. Amen. Father, speak to us right now in this third service. Let each one have a word from you that will make us better Christians. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Give me a big hand. You may be seated. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The message is praise for fulfillment of prophecies, part three. Praise for fulfillment of prophecy. There's somebody with pain around this area of your back. Look at my hand, this part of your back. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise for fulfillment of prophecies, part three. In life, stop waiting for things to happen, make things happen. Many focus on the negative. Faith filled believers see the end and not what is happening. Stop talking about your experiences. It's time to talk about your expectations. Your experience may be negative. Talk about your expectation to change the situation. Satan's main intention is for you to focus on problems. It's time to focus on God's promises. For instance, if your flight is delayed, there's no point complaining. Pick up a book and read while waiting for the flight. Is that true? Because there's something good in every challenge. Put whatever you're going through that is not positive behind you and move forward. Here is an army where God does not speak based on what you're going through. He speaks based on his ability to perform. It can create something where nothing is existing. It can make this happen where nothing is happening. And I pray today as you believe God's word, something good will happen to you. Yeah. When we talk about prophecy, God's word is the sure word of prophecy. 2 Peter 1 verse 19, down to the 1. It said God's word is the sure word of prophecy. Verse 19 precisely. So stop waiting for prophecies to be fulfilled. Apply relevant weapons of spiritual warfare for the delivery of such prophecies. 
In verse Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son Timothy. This child I commit unto you, son, to according to the prophecies which went before thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. So when wars are spoken, when the word of God is declared, you don't fold your hands, you do something for the prophecy to be fulfilled. Shout hallelujah. Where there's no contention in spiritual battle, there will be no possession of your possession. In Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 24, the Bible took at what the Bible said, Rise you up, take your journey, and pass over the river Anon. Behold, I have given into thy hand Sion the Amorite. This God speaking, King of Ishbon and his land. God says, He has given you. Begin to possess it. But here the next, look at the read the next sentence, and contend with him in battle. It is yours, but there's a contention before possession. Many just wait for prophecies to be fulfilled. No, you do something to stir up God to make it a reality in your life. Except you accept responsibility. No prophecy can be fulfilled on its own. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When we talk about prophecy, prophecy means an inspired utterance. An inspired what? That would be by prophecy. An inspired utterance. It is something foretold, predicted, or declared in advance to happen. For instance, God says to you, I will bless you above all nations. He has declared it. Now it's your duty to make sure you are blessed above all nations. And praise is a major spiritual weapon we engage to take delivery of God's plan, which is the prophecy. So here. Everything you see in the Bible is a prophecy. Is a what? From Genesis to Revelation. I saw in God's word, for instance, he said, God is not respected of what? That was what I saw. And I took that promise that no matter where I am, I will prosper. I will succeed. Because I saw in God's word, he is not respected of a person. There's no difference between the Jew and what? So I said, no matter where I am, I'm going to make it in life. That was the promise. And I accepted responsibility and it's working today. Everything God says concerning you, I decree as you are serious, probably will come to pass in your life. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. My is to praise. God only is to fulfill. For instance, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, the Bible declares in verse 17, it said they don't, you don't need to fight in this battle. God was speaking to Judah and jo Jehoshaphat and Judah. They don't need to fight in this battle. Three nations came against Judah. Three nations came against who? And they had no mind of their own. The prophecy God said to them was that they would not need to fight. But in verse 22 of that same chapter, of 2 Chronicles chapter 20, the Bible said, and, as, and when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord said what? Ambushment. So without praise, that prophecy would have been fulfilled. Yes, God has said something to you, but you don't fold your hands to wait and say, well, God, I know it will happen. So I hear. So as I praise God today, all that God has said to me will be fulfilled. Shout a better amen. amen. Praise is simply appreciating and applauding God with singing, dancing, and clapping for we is. It's a demonstration of our faith in God that what he has said, he will do it as we sing, praise, and dance. So I hear. So praise for fulfillment of prophecy means singing, dancing, to exalt and honor God for him to bring into reality what he has promised or spoken in advance. Now let me, let me give you from scriptures so you understand it better. In Psalm 65, where we take verse 11, we started, when we started, we took verse 11. Now look at verse 1 first. Look at verse 1. Praise waited for thee, O God, in what? And unto thee shall thy vow be performed. Praise. Verse 11. Verse 11. Thou cryest thy ear with what? And thy part. So this prophecy will not be fulfilled except verse 1 is in place. I'm going to understand it now. Glory to God. 
Yes, you will end this year. Well, but you have to praise. Is that simple? The last step to every prophecy to be fulfilled is what? Praise. He said to Abraham in Romans 4, 17 to 20, you shall be a father of many nations. That was a prophecy. Against every odd, he stood his ground. And in verse 20, he said, he staggered not and the promise of God to unbelief was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Yes, the prophecy look as if it's not going to work on. But as he praised God, it committed God to make it happen. As you praise God today, whatever God has said to the man in the contract, in the circumstances, it will fulfill in your life. Amen. Shout aloud, amen. amen. So the last step to that miracle you desire is what? Praise. Without praise, you can't move God to perform what he has said. Now here is the two God only six days to create the whole world. Your life will not take him more than a minute. To bring a change. Just give God pray. The entire world will create the world. Is it your small life? That will take him years. Now, I will give you a typical example. You understand it. Turn with me to Luke. These three things are fulfilled in Luke. How many of you know the story of Mary? Mary? Mary followed three dimensions before the things happened. In Luke chapter 1, take these verses, 30 to 35, 38, 38 and 45, take note, 46 to 49. I want to read this, so I'll, I'll bring us something. Luke 1, 30 to 35, comma, 38 and 45, then 46 to 49. Are you reading? Let me bring them, let me dissect them now. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with what? You read verse 31. It shall be great, it shall be called the son of the highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Read. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not what? Amen. You read verse 35. This is the promise. Yeah, God promised her. Is that true? Now look at 38 and 35. 38 and 45. Look at it. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to your word. Is that according to what? Verse 45. And blessed is she that what? For there shall be a performance of those who are to from her. Say faith. 30 to 35 is what? Promise. 38 and 45 what? Faith. God promised her, today 35, she had faith that this which God had promised must come to pass. But it was still not fulfilled. Look at 46 to 49. And many said, my soul, so we praise. God magnify the Lord. And my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. For he has, what? He had regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me what? Yes. For he that is mighty has done to me great things. Holy is his name. Say praise. praise. She followed his steps. Promise, faith, praise. And the miracle was born. Your miracle will be born today. Yes. So if you want to explain strange things, signs and wonders, what do you do? The promise of God, which is the word of God. Have faith in that word and give him praise. It will become a reality. I'm not understand it. Many of us will stop at the promises we just said God said. We stop there. We don't even have faith in what God said. And then we don't praise to make it a reality. I'm not understand me. Anything God says to you, don't doubt. Do what? Believe. Abraham did the same thing. Abraham, God said it. He believed it and did what? Praise God. You can't follow these three steps and not have your miracle. Hey, if God says you are the head, believe it. Don't doubt it and then give God praise. You will still be the head. So here. 
Are you getting what I'm talking about? Anything God says, take that promise, have faith, and praise God. You are sure? Something will happen to someone. I said, something good will happen to you. He said, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people, not some of the people, oh, Psalm 67, 5 to 7. Let all the people, so no exemption, know what? And the air shall what? And God, and God shall bless. May God bless you abundantly. Amen. Praise God in expectation of fulfillment of his word. In expectation of his word, what? Let me show you some Psalm 1. Oh, 06 verse 12. How many believe the word of God? Do you believe the word of God? Yes, Read that scripture. I want to go. Then believe they his words. They sang his praise. If you believe God's word, then praise him. I know God will do it. It's not so. Praise God for him to do it. So I hear. Now, Psalm 52 verse 9. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it. Because thou hast what? I will praise thee for what? Because thou hast what? So faith is, you don't wait to see, you praise God for him to do it. Listen. When it happened, I praise God. That's elementary school. Advanced Christians, they praise God and trigger the hand of God to make it happen. Come again. Look at it. I will praise thee forever because thou hast what? Faith is the substance of things. Evidence of things. Did Abraham praise God after Isaac or before Isaac? Do you want your miracle to be born? Before the year ends, give God praise. That miracle will be born in the name of Jesus. So I hear. Do we go to the to cathedral side to praise God when we finish cathedral or before we finish? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, are you expecting to be a multi billionaire Hey, I don't mean Naira. Naira billionaire is not billionaire. Because if you change one billion, it's one million Naira. One million dollars. Is it? One billion is less than one million dollars. So you can be a billionaire in Naira. You're not yet a billionaire. Are you hearing me now? Do you know one billion Naira is less than one million dollars? Today's equivalent. So if you are a billionaire in Naira, you may not be a millionaire in dollars. I mean, if you want to be billionaires in dollars, do you believe it? Yes. Don't say, when I become a billionaire, then I will praise God. Praise Him to become. Praise Him to become. He said, Can all of us be? All of us can be. All of us. God has. Now, if you take this spoon and take water from the ocean, will you show? Go to the ocean and take this spoon. The wealth of God is like taking a teaspoon from ocean. <laughs> it's too rich. If all of us in this commission are billionaires, it will still be like a teaspoon from ocean. And it has that for all of us. You know, it is what you believe you become. If you have the mentality that all fingers are not equal, you'll be the small finger. <laughs> Don't ever say that all fingers are not equal. That's a bad mentality. Eh? All fingers in the kingdom are what? Those who predestinated? Everybody called? It justified. Everybody justified? Why should you? Those are not scriptural quotations. They are philosophies that are not scriptural. All fingers are not. No, in the kingdom, all fingers are equal. God don't respect that of. Now, do you, why do you. Why, you go, okay, okay. If you believe all fingers are not equal, why must you not be this finger? Why will you, should you be this finger? You, you, <laughs> can't you be this one? You say you shall be the. Must you be this tail? <laughs> Why must you be this one? Are you going to say that? Mind is powerful. Mind is what? If you see yourself as a poor man, even if you prophesy, you'll be poor. One thing with mind is, it can't change a man's perspective. So it is not enough to believe God's word. It's important you praise him. Every seed you have sown in the kingdom of God shall return with harvest right now. Let us offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Hebrews 13 verse 15. Some things to do for prophecies to be fulfilled. Some things to what? For prophecies to be fulfilled. Glory, glory to God. 
Some things to do for person with Number one, locate the appropriate scriptures concerning your situation. Locate what? If you want person with food, locate the appropriate scriptures concerning your situation. The words we have found, and I did what? Eat them. Jeremiah 15, verse 16. So locate the scripture relevant to your situation. A scientist's word and what? Heal them. Psalm 107, verse 20. And deliver from their destruction. He sent a word unto Jacob and landed upon what? Israel. Psalm 9, verse 8. Isaiah 9, verse 8. Isaiah, please. So locate them. You know what you want. Is that not true? Do you know what you want? Locate the appropriate scriptures. Now listen. <laughs> Do you want to fulfill? Life story. Let me tell you a testimony. Long ago, long ago, some people gang up against me. Heavy gang up against me. And the gang up was so thick that physically it was not possible for me to fight them. It was a thick gang up. I located a scripture. My hand shall be on the neck of my enemies. I located that scripture. So when I look at it, I did a live, live, they went to report me at the police headquarters in Abuja that they should arrest me and lock me up. Then, that they would put it on papers and I'd be locked up. It was a gang up that so thick. People came up, journalists were there, some church people were there, some more people were there. I have not even reached this level, right? You know? So the gang up was so thick and I said, God, what is this? There's nobody to talk to. There's no, I didn't know anybody, but they, they were reported me already in the first headquarters that I should be picked up. A woman who is going to be with the Lord came to me and said, Papa, don't come out. Reliably, I've, I've learned that they'll pick you up. I smiled. <laughs> that Thursday, I came to church. He said, don't come. She was there where they were talking that they'll pick themselves up. So I looked at that scripture. I said, my hand shall be on the neck of my what? Now I took that scripture. You want to know? Go to Psalm. You don't read the Bible. <laughs> it's there. Now, after I looked at that scripture, I now did a midnight praise. Nobody knew, only me. I locked the door. I praised God for some hours. I said to fulfill that scripture. I put the scripture and I began to dance. I danced by the morning. The people reported me, they, they arrested them. The IG then said, come. You said, what happened? Who did you say we should arrest? They now call my name. He said, excuse me. The IG then well, happens to be a Catholic. So when God wants to fight for you, you can use anybody. Yes, sir. He said, who do you say we should arrest? He said, D.I.G. Bring this journalist. Lock them up. Arrest this man. I watch him on AIT and I like him. The table just turned. The, the table just turned. Bah, after that place. They locked them. Then when they locked them, they started saying, the police and the one church, the refusal to call our church, has taken the laws into their hands. <laughs> But I, was, I knew what I did inside. Praise is powerful. Don't do it only in church. Do it even inside your house. Every time you locate scripture, lock your house. I know the owner of the house. You don't need to need choir to sing. Sing your own. Your choir is your mouth. is one inch below your nose. See your choir. This one. Whether you get a voice or not, just sing. He said the song is played. He didn't say the voice is played. Just sing. As far as you have voice. As far as you have what? God is not interested in your phonetics. He's interested in your song. You can sing and you don't have anything inside the song. No, no, no. Just get over. Yeah. After Wakaba was singing before, no anointing. <laughs> <laughs> you were even singing with confusion. Why is just singing? So see when it was small. The mother would bring his tape, says my picking tape. I said, no, tell your picking to the born again. <laughs> <laughs> when I became born again, I, what I said, go and call your son, let him give his life to Christ. All those songs, they don't go anywhere. Thank God that he has given his life. Amen. So just sing your own. Don't do it only in church. As a live, pick scripture. Begin to dance with the scripture. Today, whatever you praise God for will come to pass. Yeah. And they lock them up. To, all your enemies will be locked up. Yeah. You know how you know somebody's a Bible student? I just posted Thai Studio. As I talk, the person will pop it up. But of your concordance, my neck, my hand shall be up, my name is, you will know the scripture. They don't read the Bible, they just did that. They do, I'll be IT guru. <laughs> IT guru with that Bible, you are just a theologian. 
<laughs> I know the scripture. I was just telling them to see. I'm a very funny person with wisdom. I just say, let me see. A wise person immediately. When you show the boss, before you will land, you see the boy, we bring out the, here, you go talk, you go there, there. there. <laughs> Bible, then they read. That hand shall be on the neck of your, just look at the neck of your enemies, that's all. Even if you break out all the neck, <laughs> in coconuts, you see, you see the it's a Psalms. Amen. Uh, even as I'm talking, it's never fine. Only when they read the Bible, no. <laughs> Number two, I beg, let me go forward. If I leave your all this when they sit here. After you have located scripture, walk in faith. Walk in what? Walk in faith. Have faith in God and His word. It's a covenant force for fulfillment of scriptures. Without faith, it's impossible to do what? Please God. He that cometh to God must believe that's the word of them who will do what? Seek him. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Luke 1 45. Amen. And then Numbers 3 verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. So here. Faith is absolute confidence in God and His word that what He said must come to pass. Fight the good fight of faith. First Timothy six twelve. Lay hold on eternal life. He said, despise not prophesying. Despise not what? First Thessalonians five verse twenty. The word you despise cannot be fulfilled. So have faith. Have what? Don't despise it. You know why God is saying so? Sometimes prophecies may not appeal to your understanding. One day Elijah said, by this time tomorrow. Ah, the man said, this time what? Tomorrow. Ah, man of God, are you okay? By this time, tomorrow. I have seen, I've seen God do things enough to doubt him. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I have seen God what? Enough to do what? To doubt him. Today, whatever God has said, because you will come to pass. <laughs> Number three, finally. So what do you do? Locate the scriptures. Build your word. Consider to build your faith on the word of God. Then continually give God quality praise. Continually give God what? I've read that, that's the two steps. In Psalm 34 verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So I hear. So continually give God what? Locate scriptures. Build your faith and then praise God. The scripture must be fulfilled. So here. Now we go to practicals. Rise to your feet. In Luke 22, 21 to the 2. Luke 21 to the 2. 21 to the 2. 21 to the 2. The people says, For this is the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be worth. Everything written will be worth. Do you believe that everything God has written concerning you will be fulfilled? Yes, sir. How many believe it? All that God has written will be worth. So whatever God has said concerning me will be fulfilled. So you look at the promise of God concerning your situation. Don't look at one word concerning your situation. Have faith in that scriptures and then give God praise. How many understand it? Then the prophecy will be what? Fulfilled. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The hand of God which has read this building shall what? Complete it. So we took that scripture, we went to side to do what? To praise. And then God is making it happen. I may not understand it. Glory to God. So here. Who? For salvation ministries, you are going to say, God, give us total what? Victory, vengeance, judgment against all the forces of darkness and against salvation ministries. Say so this is the look at that. Take the airport for this be the days of what? Vengeance. That's Luke 21 to the 2. This be the days of what? Vengeance. Let today take vengeance against whatever I want to fight salvation. Mrs. That everything written about salvation must be fulfilled. Then you know your own. Don't you know your own? Your own. Two people cannot have the same. You know your own. Then praise God for your own. I mean, understand it. Praise God for your what? Pick one scripture and focus on that scripture and praise God for your own. Different. But for the church, he said, Lord, take vengeance against whatever I want to fight salvation ministries. And then you put your own after that. Is that clear? We are praising God for 10 minutes. For how many minutes? 
if you give church four minutes, you take uh, six minutes since you all request plenty. <laughs> but me, I'll place God for six minutes for church and then four minutes for my own. I know the, I know the system. My own will be sa, 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 sa. Are we ready? Let's go, all churches. All churches, use your own instruments, please. Let's go. Amana.
Amen. <laughs> you are going to declare, Lord, take vengeance against any force that wants to fight salvation Amen. by this praise. The scripture I use was Psalm 18, verse 40. Psalm 18, verse what? That has given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. This was a scripture I used to praise. And then God gave me victory. Are you going to say now? When people are guarded against you, just unlock your room and use this scripture. You know, when we are small, they hold your neck, you do like this. That's how you hold your enemies. Now, this was a scripture I used, and God gave me victory over them. They, no matter the gang up, you bring them down. You know, but now you know what you're praising God for. But for the church, he said, Lord, based on Luke 21, 22, bring it back. That for the church. That's not where I read now, studio. Luke. For this be the days of vengeance, that all that is written may be fulfilled. Lord, for salvation, ministry, let this place become a day of what? Vengeance. Anywhere they want to fight salvation, ministry, let vengeance take place by this place. But you know what you want. Not so? Go ahead and declare your own name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare the name of Jesus. For this be the day of vengeance. By this place, take vengeance against any force that want to fire salvation ministers. In Jesus' mighty name, God, by this praise, we take vengeance against the enemies of salvation ministers. Whatever you and I have declared in this same praise is fulfilled. In Jesus' mighty name. But you don't declare God's counsel and word and praise God until you have a relationship with him. If you are not born again, whatever you declare is mere entertainment. Mere what? 
Praising God without being born again. You're not different from Michael Jackson and Fela. You must be born again. Otherwise, your song is mere entertainment. It has no, bank, no basis. Give your life to Jesus wherever you are and accept Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. By offering these prayers after me. Say after me wherever you are, Lord Jesus. I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from there to save me. With my mouth, I declare you my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, while others take their seats, keep standing.